Hi there. Um, I just want to do a talk. And I think I'm going to start off by talking about the information that I have about climate change, the hoax climate change. And why do I say it's a hoax? The hoax is not the climate changing or the climate change. The hoax is what they're selling you as the solution. And that's how you know it's a game. Right? Um, what they're offering as a solution is the is smart meters and the, the smart grid. And the smart grid is what links all humans to artificial intelligence. Preferably us being all connected to artificial intelligence by 2030. This is called Agenda 2030. They are leaving no stone unturned and Greta Thunberg, or whatever her name is, is basically, you know, autistic. She's got autism. And autistic people are very easy to manipulate. And that's what is happening with the system. They are manipulating this girl and she's met all the world leaders I was looking her up yesterday on the internet and looking it up and the world leaders who she's met are behind it all they're behind the hoax the real leaders you know some of the leaders lower down don't know they're behind the hoax but the real leaders are the real world leaders the people that would know what the system's game is And that's what it, the game is to sell you this climate change so that you all panic. And then they offer you, oh, we have the smart grid. Now, this is classic counterintelligence. Classic counterintelligence is presenting to you a problem, then offering you the solution. But the problem and the solution have already been organized. That's why I was saying yesterday, it's... it's it makes me laugh how people rubbish conspiracy theories, but and they rubbish every one. So that means that you only listen to what the system says. If you rubbish conspiracy theories, what is it? What is a conspiracy theory? Well, first of all, the con name conspiracy theory came from the CIA to rubbish anyone speaking against government plans and systematic things, and you know thinking outside the box. And a conspiracy theory is a theory that two or more people have conspired to create the desired outcome. And that happens all the time. Some of them might be right, some of them might be wrong, some conspiracy theories are just stupid. But, you know, the only other alternative is to listen, listen to whatever the system says. If you don't believe in conspiracy theories, then, then, then that means that you believe the official story of everything. And that means you're insane if you believe that, if, you, if you're like that. And, you know, but you don't have to be very brainy to see what's going on. You know, you see the climate change, then you see the smart grid, you look up the smart grid... And then you start you start looking around you at the world, looking up information smart grids, and it doesn't take much working out before you see where it's all going. And then you look on the internet of other people saying similar things, and you're seeing it as well. And, you know, this information, what the smart grid is, is all on the internet, and then you look on the internet as I done, and then you look around you, and then you're thinking, oh my God, it's actually right. The internet's right. And what 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 is it all leading to? It's all leading to whatever information you give to the internet is what stays on the internet. That then becomes the internet. The whole idea is so you, you talk to Alexas and you're building the artificial intelligence and getting it used to responding to you. Alexa's just a littler version of artificial intelligence, just a almost like a practice bunny version or something or dummy version see not bunny dummy version of artificial intelligence to get you used to it 
get you speaking to it. And so it knows what your searches are. So then it basically knows the perceptual state. Well, that's what it thinks anyway. That's what the system thinks. And probably would be right that the perceptual state of the masses would be um, what you're putting on the internet. And then they, they feed this information back to you anytime you search for something on the internet. And it's all based on things that we've said. The whole idea is so the AI is reflecting back at us when it's linked to our brains, is only delivering us information that we've created through this technical, technological prison that we've created ourselves. But there's no other outside opinion. That's what it's all about. And that's where it's going. That's why you let people talk to each other on social media. Because you're building a technological prison where the only information that's available in this prison is the information that we've created. But once artificial intelligence gets involved, there won't be anything outside of it, you see? That's the idea. So that's why they set the got the internet out there which started from a company called DARPA which I looked up yesterday as well and um, and that's that's just it that's just it I recently looked up a thing on the internet and I, um, from George Galloway saying he didn't believe anything David Icke said because he says you know the world is being taken over by lizards or and I'm not saying that's true or untrue, but ever since this awakening, people said to me after this awakening that I sounded like David Icke. And I didn't know who David Icke was when I had this unexpected spiritual awakening. And I looked him up and everything else, not, not the reptilian thing, but all the other things has been true. So um, George Galloway should maybe do a little bit of research more on David Icke before being so heavily critical of him. You know, it's quite ignorant to be critical of someone or something you don't understand, I think. But um, I'm just going to leave it there. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.